My name is Mick McAvoy and I come from Ireland and I'm very grateful to have had the opportunity to participate in the daily wellness empowerment program and I've been lucky to do that twice now in the last couple of years and I just want to take a little bit of time to to share how it's benefited me in my personal life. One aspect of the, the program was to, to go through the, the program together with, with other people who are interested, a sense of curiosity and wanting to take a sense of autonomy and sovereignty over their own well, well-being, their mental well-being and their physical well-being in a holistic way together. That was really supportive to, to do that over the eight weeks together, coming together to, to share and check in weekly and to, to sort of have someone hold me accountable for my actions during the, the eight weeks. There's many aspects that personally benefited me and maybe starting in the, the start of the day, the, the morning was sometimes for me, I enjoy a lazy morning and taking it quite slow, but often I would maybe end up doing things that weren't so good for, for my wellness or my well-being. So it was really good for me to, to commit to a, just a simple 10 minutes sitting meditation each morning. And it felt like I was tuning the orchestra of my, my mind and my body before going out into the day. Also the, the morning exercises, the Hindu squats and the Hindu push-ups were really good for me. I have a, an allergic reaction to the idea of going to the, the gym to pay to be in that environment isn't something I really wish to do. So it was quite powerful for me to, to have this set of simple exercises where I didn't need any equipment. I could do them anywhere. As long as I have a floor, I could do them. And sometimes I even explored to take them out into the garden, into nature, and, and to, to practice like, like that. And I, I don't think I felt as strong in my body physically since I was a teenager. Other aspects of the, the day for me, I have, like so many of us, an addiction to my phone and, and my screen. And often I would check the news you know, so many times a day. And we all know that there's a lot of news in the world that's not so positive at this time. And that really wasn't good for my mental nourishment. So I took that responsibility to, to choose to, to do other things with when, those, uh, when I wanted to reach for my, my phone and screen. And sometimes it would be just to, to listen to some, some beautiful music, to relax uh, and put on my headphones and sit and take time to, to really experience that. Sometimes a simple little poetry podcast that was 10 or 15 minutes long. So it was easy for me to find time in my day to do. And that was really a good thing for me to experience to, to make sure I was nourishing myself mentally during the day. Another aspect as well for me going towards the second half of the day was my, my sort of edible foods. The, what I would eat. I thought before I had quite a healthy diet, uh, but it was really interesting to, to bring some curiosity and explore how much I ate and when I, I ate. And often I would have found myself comforting myself in the, towards the end of the day, eating before going to bed. And that often that didn't make me feel very good if I was uh, going to have a sitting meditation practice in the evening, perhaps or just going to sleep, I felt heavy in my body and my mind and maybe didn't sleep so well. So to explore, to, to eat before 7 p.m. in the evening was really positive for me. And to have that window of, of rest for my digestion until breakfast the next day felt really good for, for my wellness overall. Also going to bed early was always a challenge for me, I'm more of a night owl and I really pushed myself as well to, to try and see, could I change that long habit that I had in my life? So to, to be encouraged to, to go to bed before 10 p.m. was really positive for me. And I would, again, try to put away screens, try to, to relax into the day and practice with the, the arm swinging, which I had some resistance to in the start, but I really enjoyed. I felt like a very calm and soothing uh, exercise to do before bed for, for my physical body and slow down my mind as well. So for me, it's a overall hugely positive experience. Um, I'm really grateful to have had the chance to participate. And I hope that many other people will, will have that opportunity as well to, 
to bring this curiosity to their own mental wellness and mental health and overall holistic physical wellness and, and, and health, the body and mind together. So, yeah, I'm super happy to have participated. Thank you. Thank you.